Welcome to StraightUpLearning.com. Today's lesson is Quick Formulas in Excel 2011 for the Mac. To add function formulas in Excel, the first thing you need to do is place your cursor where you want the formula to appear, basically where the result should appear. So let's say I want to total up the total sum column, and I want the total to appear at the end of that column. So I'm going to click at the end of that column, and to get a total sum formula, I'm going to come up here to my menu toolbar, and I'm going to choose this guy over here that looks like the Greek letter E, and I'm going to click on the drop down, and I'm going to choose the sum function. When I choose that, you're going to notice that, first of all, you're going to have sort of like a marquee flashing around the column itself, and it's just indicating that these are the numbers that we're going to total up. Next, you're going to see that in that cell that I was currently in is a formula. As a tip, all formulas in Excel begin with the equal sign, and you, when you're working with function formulas, it will be followed by the actual function. All I have to do at this point is just hit enter, and I have my total. If I want to figure out what's my average for the next column, I can come over here to the cell that I want the average to appear in. Here are the numbers that I want to average up, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up here to my Greek E, click on the drop down, and this time I'm going to choose average. And now I'm going to hit enter, and now the average total appears. For the next one, I'm going to actually have Excel let me know what's the minimum number that's here within this column. To do so again, I'm going to come up here to this Greek E, and I'm going to choose the min function, M-I-N. Click there. It puts the formula in that cell. I'm going to hit enter, and now it gives me the minimum number. The last formula I'm going to show you guys is how to calculate what's called the maximum number. So I'm going to come here into this column. Again, rule of thumb, put your cursor where you want the formula to appear. Again, the result of that formula. Come up here to that Greek E again, and this time I'm going to choose the max function. Now I'm going to click there and hit enter, and now I have the maximum function. And that's how you easily calculate formulas using Excel 2011 for the Mac. Thank you for attending. For additional information or for a quick reference sheet for this lesson, please visit us at straightuplearning.com or contact us at 704-909-6139.